Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a couple of DIYs and we're starting out by painting a hutch that my parents gave us. We're going to chalk paint it white. The brand that I'm using is Rust-Oleum and the color is linen white. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but we are also going to do some shiplap wallpaper to our entryway wall and I'm so excited about it. So we're prepping the wall now. I've got Taylor and my dad here and then we're gonna add some hardware to the hutch later on. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're taking everything off of the wall. Dad is removing our doorbell that doesn't work. Taking all of the electrical outlets off getting it already and then in our spare bedroom here's the top of the hutch all of this here is like new spring decor stuff and this room is kind of a catch-all room but anyways here's the hutch with one coat of paint and before it was kind of like a tan color so i'll show you the bottom i still have to paint it but i got these handy little cups from menards and it's got a magnet so your brush can sit on and then here's the linen white paint and this is the brand so i got this at uh, menards but you guys can probably get it somewhere else i'll also link it down below if you want to paint something but i love chalk paint because you don't have to do a lot of prep work to your piece of furniture that you're painting. So for this one, I didn't have to sand it down or anything. I just wiped it clean and got it ready to go. So that's awesome, saves so much time whenever you are ready to tackle a piece like this. Mom and dad have had this hutch for a long time and they just weren't using it anymore. So they let us have it. So super excited, it's gonna be so cute in our dining room. Okay, so we're measuring the wallpaper now. This is what it looks like. And it's just a textured shiplap. Okay. I think it's the reclaimed shiplap in white. And um, it comes in a roll like this. Is that two feet? Okay, it's 20 and a half inches wide. And then it comes in a roll. I'm not sure how long it is, but for this wall here, I've got four rolls. And I have a feeling we'll have leftovers, but we'll see. And this one is textured, so it feels like shiplap. It gives it that like effect without having to do actual boards. So I'm excited to see how it looks on the wall in the process. We've never done anything like this, so should be interesting. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need a level, a box cutter, and then I seen where these little things are really handy to get out the air bubbles. So I picked one of those up from Menards, and that should be about it. So, just gonna be the edge top. Gonna stick on the first piece and see how it goes. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a bar in the tent, it's 5.30 Useless words What you said, what I said That might have made it worse We're here again At the same spot where we kissed Okay, second coat of paint is on The top piece Looking pretty good It's so hard to get underneath there And the top's underneath this part But we got her done Now we're gonna let this dry And then bring in the bottom piece About to leave Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life 
with no distractions we'll get away okay so i'm gonna take these shutters and take everything off of this wall we're gonna move this table and some of the stuff on it over there to the entryway so the hutch can go over here so i'm gonna go ahead and get all of that set up because they're almost done with the wall Here's everything that was on that table. I'm gonna make it a little bit different with being in the entryway. Maybe like cozier things and less like kitchen stuff, like um, less Ray done. So I'm gonna do like pillows and blankets, maybe a couple of bases and greenery. So we'll decorate that in a second once we get the table moved over that way. Okay, here it is now with the signs back up and these little shutter shelves. And I think I'm gonna leave this black bench here until it warms up a little bit. Um, I usually have it on our front porch whenever it's warm outside. So yeah, I think it looks good. Okay, now we're gonna paint the bottom part of the hutch and we're gonna go ahead and take off all of this um, hardware that's on here. And I've got some new stuff to put on. It's gonna look so good, um, but we're gonna wipe it down first. It's got a lot of junk on it. It's literally been in storage for probably like, I don't even know, eight years, yeah. eight to 10 years. So looks pretty good for being out there so long, but I love this detailing in it. I think it's gonna look really good. so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me now okay i'm about to put a second coat of paint on the hutch just the bottom and then i've got a couple of doors to paint for here and here and then the middle little rack in there so it's coming along good luckily this chalk paint dries really quick and then i'll show you guys how the wall looks today i love it i think it looks so good so i've got everything put back on there and you can just tell like the shiplap that's there um and I think it turned out pretty good. It took them around an hour and a half to do this wall, so not terrible. And I think it looks really good. Okay, here is the final reveal of the hutch. So we painted it and put on some new black hardware. And I think it looks totally different. I love it in the dining room. It's nighttime, so you can't really tell, but here's an up close view of it. Brooks is laughing at something on his iPad, but there it is. So there's a top piece and then here's the bottom piece. And I'm excited because this will actually be good storage to store like Ray Dunn stuff. And I cannot wait to decorate this for spring. So that finishes up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. I'm gonna be doing lots of spring decorating and cleaning. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys soon, bye.